Hi there, folks! Football News has once again prepared the latest news from the world of football just for you. Leave a like and we are ready to go. Let's get the show on the pitch. Wrexham AFC, co-owned by Hollywood actor Ryan Reynolds, have been promoted to League One, English football's third tier. The club has earned its second consecutive promotion. Arsenal are looking for a forward to compete with Gabriel Jesus and Kai Havertz. Bologna's Jozo Zirgzi is among the main options. This is a very special moment for the club. Winning the Bundesliga for the first time in 120 years is something very special. The players are top. I'm very proud of everyone," Chabi Alonso said. Besiktas have sacked former Portugal coach Fernando Santos after a series of poor performances. West Ham United want to sack David Moyes and are considering Jose Mourinho as his replacement. Lionel Messi netted a goal and provided an assist against Sporting Kansas City. He has five goals and five assists in five MLS appearances this season. Manchester United are considering selling their winger Anthony this summer. As a replacement, the Red Devils intend to acquire Michael Ollis from Crystal Palace. Liverpool, Arsenal and Manchester City are keen on Villarreal goalkeeper Philip Jorgensen. And a named Saudi family is planning to purchase Inter Milan. They are currently evaluating the investment's profitability. During the battle against Udinese, AS Roma center back Evan Indica felt unwell. He collapsed on the pitch, clutching his chest. The footballer was taken off the pitch on a stretcher and the match was abandoned after 72 minutes with a score at 1-1. Talks between Juventus and Latium midfielder Felipe Anderson are in the final stages. The player will join the White and Blacks as a free agent. Newcastle United have triggered a permanent transfer for defender Lewis Hall from Chelsea for £28 million. He played for the tune on loan. Erling Haaland is the third player in the Premier League history to score 20 goals or more in each of his first two seasons, repeating the success of Ruud van Nistelrooy and Andy Cole. Bayern Munich winger Kingsley Coman suffered an injury in his right adductor muscle in the Bundesliga home game against Köln and is expected to be out of action for several weeks. Arda Güler's agents have currently not asked to leave Real Madrid alone. The player is focused on the end of the season and preparations for the Euros. Imagine if Wood played in Europe this season, with all the injuries. Oh my goodness! With a squad that is always between 8 to 10 players missing in every single game. If you add more games, we would struggle a lot," Mauricio Pochettino told. My contract runs until 2026. Until 2026. There is nothing more to say," Diopa Meccano claimed. Barcelona will soon offer a new deal to one of its leaders, Ronald Araujo. Union Berlin defender Kevin Vogt is the new Bundesliga record holder for most games without even registering a goal in a row. He already has 267 matches without scoring. It'll be difficult to say goodbye to Juventus. I love this club and I spent great time here," Alexander claimed. Alexander Isak has become the first player since Alan Shearer to hit 20-plus Premier League goals in a season for Newcastle United since the 2003-2004 season. Holland helped score some goals, creating space for others to score. After the real game, he was extremely happy. I liked him a lot. A lot. He helps us to create more spaces and areas. His contribution has always been exceptional since day one last season, Pep Guardiola thinks. Bayer Leverkusen have renamed the road leading to the stadium in honor of Bayer coach Xabi Alonso. It is now called Xabi Alonso Alley. Atletico Madrid are looking to offer Antoine Griezmann a new contract in the upcoming weeks. Liverpool goalkeeper Allison has returned from injury and started for the Reds against Crystal Palace. Pau Cubarsi will mark an era at the club. He's a crucial player for us and he's only 17. He looks older for the way he plays. I'm really proud to see the team competing like this," Xavi said. Sensational Girona have lost five away matches in a row. However, they still remain in third place in the La Liga table. Former Napoli, Lazio, Juventus and Chelsea manager Maurizio Sarri was spotted at the match of his hometown club, Filiene, which performs in Serie D. The answer is pretty easy. If we play like that in the first half, why would we win the league? Play like second half and we can win games. 
win games, be around until the end, and we'll see where it takes us," Jurgen Klopp said. Man United's new co-owners, Ineos, have not yet made a final decision regarding the future of Eric Ten Hag. Martin Odegaard out in the second half? He felt something. He was not able to continue. Mikel Arteta revealed. French striker Anthony Martial will leave Man United this summer. The club is definitely not going to change its mind. Manchester United striker Alejandro Garnacho liked to post on Instagram criticizing Eric Ten Hag. Belgian side Beerschot, coached by Liverpool legend Dirk Kaut, has been promoted to the elite division of the Belgian Championship. Luka Jovic wants to stay at AC Milan, and the club is determined to keep the Serbian forward. The parties will start negotiations soon. Can Manchester City already be considered the Premier League winners? Liverpool and Arsenal both lost points at the same time, allowing Manchester City to take the top spot in the standings. Liverpool's defeat was especially shocking as they created more than 3 XG chances but managed to concede a goal from Eze in the 14th minute. Arsenal dominated during the first half against Aston Villa, but after the break, the Lions seized the initiative. Eventually, at the end of the game, Unai Emery's men took the win with strikes from Leon Bailey and Ali Watkins in the final 10 minutes. Among other things, Bayer have secured a real title-winning victory. In the first half, Leverkusen were satisfied with just a penalty kick from Boniface, but after the break, the Black and Reds delivered a real spectacle. Granny Jaka and Florian Wirtz each scored with incredible long-range shots, and then Wirtz completed his head check. No doubts, Leverkusen stayed up all night afterwards. Bayer have officially been crowned German champions. For the first time in their history, Chai Alonso's squad crushed Werder and became out of reach of their rivals. Leverkusen had a truly impressive season in the Bundesliga, 25 wins in 25 matches and zero defeats. Overall, Bayer have gotten defeated in 43 matches in all competitions in a row, equaling Juventus's record. This is a very special moment for the club. Winning the Bundesliga for the first time in 120 years is something very special. The players are top. I'm very proud of everyone," Chab Alonso stated after the victory. Well, a lot of beer was poured in the dressing room, that's for sure. Tuta Sport has traditionally announced the list of nominees for the Golden Boy 2024 award. Barcelona prodigy Lamine Yamal is the favorite to win the prize, according to bookmakers. Other nominees include talents like Warren Zaire Emery, Lenny Yoro, Pau Kubarsi, João Neves, Alejandro Garnacho, Savio, Kabi Mainu, Matthew Stell, Jamie by Noah Gittens, Rico Lewis, Gavi, and Yusufa Mokoko. Last year, the Golden Boy Award went to Jude Bellingham. Bayern Munich, who will most certainly part ways with Thomas Tuchel in the summer, continue to search for a new head coach. In order to solve this problem, Dirat and management have contacted representatives of former Real Madrid head coach Zinedine Zidane. Bayern want to know whether the legendary Frenchman is available to return to work. Zidane is thought to have not yet made a final decision, so he took some time to think it over. The former midfielder has been out of work since the summer of 2021, when he left the Real Madrid head coaching post. Earlier on, it was reported that Bayern's first priority lies in the return of Julian Nagelsmann. PSG are preparing for Kylian Mbappe's departure to Real Madrid, continuing to look for a replacement for their top star. PSG's goal is to bring together the best young French footballers in order to increase the club's popularity within the country. Therefore, one of the main options for PSG is Inter and France international striker Marcus Thuram. The club's sporting department believes that Thuram is capable of performing in the same manner as Mbappe. PSG are also impressed with Thuram's performance at Inter. He has 11 goals and 11 assists in 30 Serie A appearances. Next summer, we will see an exciting race for Bayer Leverkusen starlet Jeremy Frimpong. The Dutch right-back is already claimed by three big clubs at once – Manchester United, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. Each of these clubs is facing a problem with the right-back position, and Frimpong could prove to be a suitable solution. Aside from his playing qualities, top clubs are attracted by Frimpong's humble price tag. 
His contract includes a release clause worth only 40 million euros. This season, Frimpong has registered 12 goals and 11 assists in 38 appearances in all competitions. Guys, that's it for today. Check out the suggested videos from our other projects. The Football News Channel was with you. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.